Hey guys, in this quick video, I wanted to take a look at how to use room legends or symbol libraries to level up your multi-print drawings. So taking a look at the way you would traditionally manage uh, this information on a multi-print page, you might have a title page set up where you've got the information about the room listed in your title block. Now the title block really should be something that's generic that applies to the entire job rather than uh, room specific information. And then you could be doing something like what we've got on the screen here, which is a sort of cover page, if you like, for this particular room, where it gives us the breakdown of all the information that's specific to this room, things like the room height, the materials and the hardware we're using in there, any notes that apply to this room, perhaps any revisions for the room, and maybe even a 3D image of the room. All of this information here is basically a template that can be utilized and dragged in very simply from the symbol library. Uh, we're gonna share a link with you here in this, uh, in this post that has a link to download these, these room templates or these cover sheet templates if you like and drop them in that way you can start taking advantage of these straight away. So let me demonstrate for you here. I've just got a page one set up and that's my room one information this would be basically a cover sheet for this room. It's gonna set the tone. It's gonna to be the first page of that room information. And then I'd probably go on to create additional pages. You know, I might have a, a plan view, an elevation view page, that sort of thing for room one. And I'd probably write room one in there as well. Uh, and then go ahead and drag that information out, place it on the page, you know, maybe even go ahead and change the scale of that. I might just go ahead and make that resizable and stretch that up to fill up more of the more of the space of the room. Once I'm happy with that, you know, I might even drop an elevation of the same thing on this page. It really depends on what you want to do. Obviously, you guys probably mostly know how to lay these things out and be pretty comfortable with that. Let's say I've done my elevation page and I'm happy to move on to room number two. I'm going to add a page and this would be my room two cover page. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to my symbol library. And in the symbol library, if you've downloaded the information we're sharing in this post, you'll then have cover sheets by room for A3 and A4, depending on the page size that you're using. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the cover sheets for A3. And then you'll see in this list, I might even make this a little bit bigger. So you can see we've got up to 12 room cover sheets already pre-laid out and predefined for you guys. So I'm gonna pick room two, go ahead and just drag that onto the screen. Of course, I can pick that up and move that around and center it nicely on the screen. And as you can see, this information is different from the information we saw on the first page. So if I go back to the page one, we're seeing that this was white satin, it was Polytech white, Caesar stone cloudburst for the, the bench top color. There was uh, knob handles and Blumentaro drawers, uh, room heights, that sort of thing. And if I go into the page two, you can see that the colors have changed, the handles have changed. So it's picking up the information automatically for the right room. And I think that's the key to what I'm trying to demonstrate here. Uh, you can see we've got a little generic note there just to say insert a 3D image over the top of that. So I can easily go to my live 3D views, pick up an image for room number two, drag that out and then just make that uh, whatever size I'd like to then show a bit of a preview of the room on that page. And in, you know that, that can be colored or filled or however you want that to look, but that's just the information that would come through. Uh, and then there you go. So now you've got your room two cover sheet ready to go. Then you would start adding your pages and then dragging out your plan views. So, you know, you might have room two plan view, you know, something like that. And then you'd go ahead and obviously drag out the plan view for room number two, drop that on the screen, you know, place that where you want and then continue your process of building out your pages. But the idea was just to show you this concept of using a cover sheet. And this is all editable. This is really just information that has been created and then saved away as a group, as a, as a saved symbol. So you can double click into this. This is all editable. You can click in there and change the, the text input to whatever you'd like. Uh, you can go ahead and jump in here into the notes. We've made it nice and easy that you can just double click and start typing straight away. Um, you can play with the colors and that to, foot, to suit your sort of business um, style. Same with revisions, you know, type in what you want there. It's all editable, um, it's all ready to go. Same with any of these things. So some of these are gonna be automatic, like the room height, bulkhead height, base cabinet height, wall height. Um, but some of the information like the tall cabinet height, you're gonna to need to manually enter. So you can go ahead and type what you want that to be, uh, and then go ahead and enter what 
you want each of these items to be like the splashback height or toe height. Of course, this is configurable. So if you want to change the word in or change uh, any of the predefined answers, you can go ahead and do that as well. Um, but hopefully you can take advantage of this. And I think this is a much cleaner uh, and more professional way of creating cover sheets for each room and just really leveling up those, those drawings that you guys are producing. So let me know what you think. Um, if you have any feedback, just drop them in the comments below and um, I'll catch you on the next video.